Application of quadratic formula. A punter kicks a football. Its height in meters after t seconds is h equals to minus 4.9 t square plus 22.54 t plus 1.1. For how many seconds was the ball at least 20 meters above the ground? Now let us first sketch and represent the situation. So what we have here is, let us say the vertical axis represents the height of the ball at an instance of time t. The horizontal axis represents time. Time is given to us in seconds. Height is given to us in meters, right? Now if t equals to 0, we find that the height is 1.1. So it's not 0, it's starting from somewhere there, right? So the ball is following a trajectory which is kind of like this, a parabolic path, right? Now the question is, for how many seconds was the ball at least 20 meters above the ground? So let us say this height is 20 meters. Let me write 20 here. So we need to find time when the ball is at 20 meters height. So if you find these two times, t1 and t2, then the duration t2 minus t1 is the time when the ball was at least 20 meters above the ground, right? So that is the question. So I hope you understand the question. That's the first part. Now we are already given the equation. The equation is h equals to minus 4.9 t square plus 22.54 t plus 1.1. So if we find time when height is 20, that means we can replace h with 20. So we get 20 equals to minus 4.9 t square plus 22.54 t plus 1.1. Let's bring all the terms together to one side. It's always good to have the leading coefficient positive, right? So I'll bring everything to the left side. So we'll write this as 4.9 t square minus 22.54 t minus. So when I do 20 minus 1.1, right? So we get 20 minus 1 is 19 and 0.1 take away will give us 18.9, right? So you say 18.9 equals to zero. Correct? So that is what we get as our equation. Now since there are so many decimal places, kind of difficult to factor, correct? So best thing is to find time now, use quadratic formula. So let's use quadratic formula and find time when the height is 20. So t equals to minus b. B value is minus 22.54. So it's right minus and b is minus 22.54 plus or minus within square root b square which is minus 22.54 square minus 4 times ac which is 4.9 times 18.9. Correct. So that is a numerator and the denominator is divided by 2 times a. 2 times a is 4.9. So that is the equation which you get. Now you can use your calculator and find this answer. So which is basically 22.54 plus or minus square root of, let's calculate, right? So we get 22.54 square minus 4 times 4.9 times 18.9 equals to 137.61 right so within the square root we get 137.61 and denominator is 2 point 2 times 4.9 so that is 9.8 right so this is equals to 22.54 and square root of 137 
0.61 is 11.73. So we'll write plus minus 11.73 divided by 9.8. So that will give us two answers, right? One with the plus value and the other one with the negative value, correct? So let us use first the plus value. So we'll add 11.73 to 22.54. and then divide by 9.8 so that gives us 3.497 so let me write 3.497 first now the other one which we get is 22.54 minus 11.73 equals to divided by 9.8 and that is equal to 1.103 right that's good practice to just round them off to one decimal place right we could have done two since this is 0.54 but let's round the second sorry let's round them to one decimal place and then we can find the duration when it is above 20 meters right so the duration is the time during which the height of the ball is above 20 meters so duration is t2 minus t1 which is we can write this as 3 point let's say 5 0 minus 1.10 okay so that gives us 2.4 seconds so that is the time duration during which ball remains above 20 meters of the ground right so we can write down clearly our answer that for how many seconds right so we say ball remains above 20 meters for 2.4 seconds right so that is how these questions can be answered I hope you appreciate it. It's a direct application of quadratic formula. So just use quadratic formula with your calculator. You should be good to get the answer. Thank you.